Wonders on every side Life in marvelous time Life in marvelous time Hello YouTube, my name is Anton Osaka, the realest blogger in the game, speaking truth to power as usual. Today I'm going to talk about the situation in Libya. First of all, all forms of violence should be condemned, especially violence that's committed against nonviolent protesters. I condemn such violence, regardless of political uh, ideology or affiliation. I condemn all forms of violence committed against innocent people. And I condemn the violence that's been committed by the state of Libya against its own people. And sanctions should be imposed against uh, the state of Libya if these allegations are true. The people that made the decision to harm nonviolent demonstrators should be brought before the International Criminal Court and brought to justice. I strongly believe that. However, I oppose this invasion of Libya. I oppose it because it's based on a faulty idea. They claim that the war is being waged right now to protect civilians. They claim that it's being waged to promote democracy. But that can't possibly be the case. In fact, it, it exposes the hypocrisy of America's foreign policy. If we look at what's happening in Bahrain, we don't see anyone talking about imposing a no-fly zone in Bahrain. We don't hear anyone talking about imposing a no-fly zone in Yemen. Or when um, the genocide took place in Rwanda, no one talked about invading Rwanda to stop the violence. No one talked about imposing a no-fly zone to prevent the violence being perpetrated against the people in Gaza. No one talked about that. So you can't tell me that this is about human rights or protecting innocent civilians. That's just not the case. It's about one thing, and that's oil. It's about domination and control of oil interests. It's about imperialism. And when President Obama was elected, so many of us had hope, and we, we thought that he was going to bring about change. And in some respects, he has brought about change. But in, in terms of foreign policy, it, it is disappointing to see a peace candidate become a war president. He ran as one of the few mainstream candidates that opposed the war in Iraq. But what does he do when he's elected? He does something contrary to that peaceful stand that he took. He gave speeches about extending a hand to the Middle East and to the Arab world and the Muslims. But what did he do? Instead of extending a hand, he extended bombs. He extended uh, weaponry and war and violence. That, we have to be willing to speak out against that. In fact, we need a democratic movement right here in America, just like there are democratic movements taking place over all over the Middle East. We need a movement that will demand peace, that will demand that our foreign policy not be dominated by corporations. The oil industry is dominating our foreign policy. How many innocent young men and women must be sent abroad to die to feed the greed of these oil companies. It's time for us to stand up to these companies. It's time for us to take the government back and make sure that the people control government. That's why we need to be involved in activism. We need to reignite a movement for political change in America. And I, I find it odd that this country always talks about the deficit. They talk about how much things cost, but they have no problem spending money to kill and maim and destroy. They, have, they always have enough money for war. And that's, that's a disgrace. They don't have enough money to build the schools that are crumbling in our inner cities. For instance, in Detroit, they're going to have to close many of the schools, half of the schools. They don't have any funds to prevent that but they have plenty of funds, billions of dollars to waste on bombs so that they can dominate another people and dominate the natural resources of another country. We have to speak out and condemn this. We have to. We have to be the change 
that we want to see in the world. Wonders on every side Life in marvelous time Life in marvelous time